Uh, hello to, uh, this is me, Corporal Look, uh, doing my first tutorial about, uh, your new DK. So, first, uh, I'm going to go through the basics of making your map. So, what you want to do is you want to first have your terrain. So, you want to go into terrain editing mode. So, I click on terrain editing mode. So, assuming you know a bit of basic about uh, UDK, you should know about th how to use the interface. I, I will not cover that in the tutorial. So, in the Unreal Terrain Editor, that is basically um, what you will use to edit the terrain. But for now, we'll just go on to Tools, New Terrain. Now, depending on how uh, large you want your... Oh, back how large you want your land, you change the patches to the size you want them to be, so I'll make mine for, oh, 48 48, next, that doesn't matter, you don't matter about the layer set up and then from your point you should get a large piece of land, now this, you select your land and then you go to your terrain editing mode so this is your terrain and it's in height map and as you can see you have different tools and these different tools allow you to manipulate the land in different ways so but first I'm going to put wireframe on so that allows you to see uh, the different creases in the land and then you, I'm going to increase tessellation by one which makes it more detailed in its uh, uh, when you manipulate the land so I'm going to go on to paint and I'm going to hit control and left click and this raises the terrain as you can see on the screen so I am on the paint on the uh, where I am um, I'm clicking the paint button on the tool in the terrain editor and I am hitting control and I'm left clicking to raise terrain and to decrease terrain you hit control and you right click there are lots of different uh, let's make a little surrounding area here, there are lots of little uh, different things you can do with the terrain editor to get different forms of terrain uh, like there is the let you find it there's the flatten tool, it just flattens everything to the height that you set it at let's get rid of that and then they've got the smooth, it just smooths out you, again, to hit, you have to hit control for any of these actions to take effect um, and then you've got the uh, is it average tool uh, which basically just averages out which is good for making slopes and roads and tracks Right, so now you have got your terrain which you could happily play but as you can see war, z war zones aren't usually uh, blue and white checkered uh, ground so what you need to do now is you need to texture it so you need to open the content browser uh, select the material instances something and it doesn't show on mine but it's the second material instance down and then you want to go on to textu textures and then you should probably scroll down and go to the outdoors which is under materials on the tags and you want to find a suitable material for your for your uh, war zone so I'm going to choose um, let me think I will choose I I'll oh, tick for this, I'll search search ground. Let's see if there's anything useful. Um, let's untick these and then search ground there's one called ground master that I know. Here we are, we'll use this. So you select it, right click, uh new terrain set up layer from material, you click that, and it might take a bit and here we are got your terrain. Now you can close the content browser and as you can see 
if you know you've now your ground has now been terrained with uh your colour that you the material that you, the texture that you want. But you might you want to probably think, but not all the battlefield is going to be grass. So what you want to do is you want to open content browser again then all assets and then you want to search something like I don't know rock and actually in fact let's just go to get, scrap that go to be instances textures outdoors and uh, let's go for is there black rock anywhere there we are we'll use this and then you add it underneath uh, the first layer ah okay that's not a material right uncheck ah what you need to do here is with the material I'd like to use it's not actually a material you need to have a material so if I go on to create new material yep let's go there okay that's fine with me and that should show you it and then you want to go on to edit use material editor and just uh, just connect this to diffuse and you get your texture click the green tick and close and now click it and add terrain sub layer for material now there you are you will notice that nothing has changed on here and that's because you need to paint on your material so click on the, the paint again and this time you want to click on your chosen material you wish to paint and then do control right click on wherever you want to be that rock now UDK stops a minute because it's calculating how you're going to paint on this material but once it's freed up again it should be able to just paint on material by control and right clicking over the area that you want to paint with this material if you can get the right balance between how much rock you lay on and how much you don't and the sort of different rock types for the areas and even making your own materials to paint on is really quite good for cu really customizing your own map so you can add uh, more and more uh, so I will just find a dirt one via all assets material instances textures search dirt and let's go for is there a material no I have to make my own material from it let's go on this one create new material okay and then simply just go as we did before material editor and connect that to diffuse green tick close, make sure that's selected, right click new material set up from, from uh, selected, right now close that and simply just paint on to whatever surface you want to paint on to oh no I've not, sorry, I've not selected the right one here we are, see every time it adds a new material it will recalculate uh, the painting of the texture it does that on no matter how fast your computer is because I have a particularly fast computer it always takes time to calculate because it's, it, it's built into the software so now you can now exit your material editor you just toggle wireframe off if you wish uh, close Unreal Terrain Editor and you should have your terrain now all you have to do is add actor, right click, add actor, add player start you should have a player start and then you can then just add a light add actor, add light dominant directional light since I'm not going to go around placing single points if I now just change that just grow it and now if I go to if I now just build geometry it's always important and hopefully I'll be able to play it now I'll just actually before we do that 
We'll just save. Right. This is, this is the first thing. We shall save it as, and exactly like this, DM. Now, DM is very important because that sets it as a deathmatch mode, and that will become important for later in tutorials. So, DM hyphen, and let's call it um, first map. DM hyphen first map, and save. Save that. This is just in case UDK crashes. It shouldn't crash, but when I'm recording and using UDK at the same time, it can do that. So, if I play in viewport, here we are. Right, what is realised here is that I need to build the lighting. So, if I exit, we go to build lighting, I uncheck light mass because we haven't got an importance volume, which we'll come into at a later date again, and click OK. Now, lighting should go really quickly, and then you should just play in viewport again. And that is rather odd. This hasn't seems to have worked. I'm wondering why it isn't going correctly, but I think I have an idea. What I have done wrong is if I go to train, these haven't been uh, saved. So what I need to do is you need to go to your content editor. This may be a common problem, or it may not. You need to go to your, if you have one, one a, whether it saves the ones that you create. If I just search dirt, right, is it material instances? So it hasn't saved the materials that we've made. Never mind. Just using text view. Oh no! Create new material. Okay, you're going to be a little, a bit of a, uh, a shortcut now. Yeah, okay, a shortcut now as I try and work out what I have done wrong. Okay, uh, okay, I've uh, just figured out what uh, I did wrong. Is that when I created the material? Create new material. UN Rock Two. Okay, so it's under UN Rock Two. Right now, sh here we are. Right. I've actually did this, but it didn't make it into material. So, and I didn't fully load it. So if I fully load, now create new material. Right, and then edit uh, material editor. Then connect this to there. Green tick. Close. You have your material. Then just save it. So you need to remember to fully load your uh, texture or material and make and redo it if you have to. And then, okay. Let's just save that as well. I think that might be more used. Anyway, you have to uh, do that. Make sure you save it and fully load it. And now it should render properly. So, hopefully. Yep, here we are. It's done all that. And as you can see, we've got a playable map. That I will be using for the rest of the tutorial. To show you the basics. And... What I might do at later dates, or you can do yourselves, is build mountainous barriers all the way around the map to like prevent to create like a, a natural boundary so that your player can't go outside of the map. Okay, so I hope this tutorial was uh, informative. Um, it, and remember, when you're saving your map, it's important to name it uh, with DM hyphen as a prefix, prefix because that is. Uh, comes with that does it designate the load of presets that it will become very important important for a higher part of the tutorial. Uh, okay then, thanks for watching. Goodbye.